it's Demo Donna here with Queen and & Company and I'm going to show you a quick and easy fun card using the Hello Sentiment Stacker. This is a great kit. It comes with the two paper pads. So you not only get the fun pattern paper, which is double-sided, you're also going to receive the solids coordinating paper pad in this kit. You receive a beautiful stamp set which could be used in coordination with the actual stacker words or on their own, which is really fun. And then you receive three of your beautiful stackers, wishes, you, and hello. So a ton of possibilities, three word dies, three outline dies, your two paper pads and your stamp set. And here is the fun and simple card that we are about to make and I hope you enjoy. Thanks again for sticking around and watching our shows here at the Queen & Company YouTube channel, and we'd love for you to subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any questions. Thanks. To get started, what I've done is from foundation die number three, and the majority of these dies are from foundation die number three with the exception of this, not fully half circle, but this is from foundation die number 12. And then of course I am using the sentiment stackers from the Hello Sentiment Stacker Kit. So I've gone ahead and adhered the giant background here from foundation die number three. And now what I'm gonna do is attach my circle here. And this circle and all the paper, because this kit has both pads in it are from the Hello Happy from your actual kit. So you get these really beautiful double-sided pattern paper, which coordinate perfectly with the solid pattern papers as well. So make sure you take a look at those, a lot of really fun designs. All right, now that we have these two things adhered, what I am going to do is do a fun little pattern with my circles. So I am just going to apply some double sided adhesive on the back of all of that and lay those out. So and now I'm just adding adhesive to the back of all of the different color and size circles to create a really fun background to add my sentiment stacker on. Okay, so there's just a fun little pattern I just randomly threw on with the circles just to have them, they are all connected, but I just went ahead and layered them on. Now with the gold foam, glitter foam, I went ahead and cut out a few circles as well. And I am going to just place a few here just to add a little bit more of that fun gold pop on my card. So next what I've gone ahead and done is I have taken the outline of the Hello Stacker and I've gone ahead and I've cut it out in the darker pink for my kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that on and I'm just gonna use a little bit of sheer glue to do that. Okay, so I am just going to hover that right about here on my card. Stick that down. Because I'm using wet adhesive, I can actually scooch it over a little bit. Let that dry. And I've also gone ahead and taken my hello and I've cut it out using the gold fun foam as well. So first we're gonna lay the hello on there, the H, and I'm just gonna do my best to center it. The foam has a little give, so you just wanna make sure before you push it down, you've got it sitting in the correct place. Okay, now I'm gonna take the hello out, and I'm just applying a little bit of pressure on the bottom here. And I'm just centering those down. If you're doing this with paper on paper, you don't have the, the movement as much because the paper remains pretty straight. 
So I just want to make sure, there we go. Okay, and now I have the beautiful sparkly hello and the coordinating circles that pop. And before I add any more embellishments to the outside, I also wanted to do the inside of my card. So your sentiment stackers have coordinating stamps and they could be used with the actual stacker words or they could be used on their own. Some of them can be used either way. So what I've done is I've taken, it's been too long. And again, these are both from foundation die number three. And I'm just gonna ink up my stamp and I'm using a nice bright pink. And you can always test your stamp out first. So I inked it up. And then I'm gonna just apply even pressure and stamp that out. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on my cutout here. And there we go, it's been too long. And it actually stamped better here than on my little sample, which is a good thing. All right, so now that I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that into my center here. And I'm gonna be using this as the inside of my card. So for those of you that like to have a stamped saying in the inside of your card, we are gonna create that here today. So now I am going to place some adhesive down. And before I push this down, I'm just gonna set it right now because I want my circles to be coming out from behind. So I'm gonna have this guy in the center here and then we are going to do actually a little higher than the center. And then I'm going to want a big circle here. And you can always not add the adhesive if you're a little concerned to put the adhesive on it first. I just got ahead of myself. There we go, I think I'm gonna go in. And now I'm gonna take this and adhere it down. And now we have the inside of our card completed as well as the outside. And I just wanna add some fun. I'm gonna go to my epoxy folder so this has all of my different epoxy dots and we are gonna see what works here. So I think I'm definitely gonna use some of the teals and some of the pinks and some of the yellows. I absolutely love the yellow. So I'm gonna use that little color combination. And they're gonna pop out really fun. So I'm just gonna do just a couple. And I'm gonna do that bigger, darker pink. We'll do some pink down here as well. And then we'll just finish up with a little bit of that really fun teal color. I think I'm gonna go with the little one. And there we go. That completes a really colorful but really simple stacker card. And especially if you're creating a lot of cards, this is a really fun thing to do. 
and yet you can bust out a bunch of these using that fun, simple circle pattern. Thank you guys so much for watching.